Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and I'm actually packing things up after a day of working with the radios in the field. We're on vacation, we're in the mountains of Massachusetts. I tried to make several different videos today, and each one presented a unique set of challenges. Specifically, propagation did not cooperate at all today. The bands were dead flat, which made communicating a bit of a challenge, and in the end I was able to successfully make a connection with the F-Loop antenna over there. So rather than post these videos individually, I'm going to try to merge them all into one video after this intro because I think each one has some value that we can all learn from. I did for sure. So we'll go ahead and roll into the different cuts of the different videos today. Be right back. Uh, this summer I just got back from Canada about three weeks ago. It's been three weeks up there. I took Porter Air from Pittsburgh to Toronto and back. It cost me $230 both, uh, for the whole thing. Over. Well, there you go. We're up here in the mountain. I have the classic items I usually take to the field. The FT-817ND QRP Ranger by Harden Power Systems. Of course, my Pactor modem. I've got the laptop computer with the Pixel sunscreen by thinktankphoto.com. And today we're operating with a new piece of equipment, a new addition here to the channel. And that's LDG Electronics Z11 Pro 2 automatic antenna tuner. This is a 1.5 to 125 watt automatic antenna tuner. So it will support my QRP or low power operations with the 817ND and operations with my ICOM IC7200 that's back in the homestead. Today we brought out Chameleon Antenna's m -Pass antenna. It's a whip antenna. We're actually using the mill whip extender. So we have that set up here on a tree in a Nivis configuration. We leaned it down, actually taking advantage of a branch over there for a little extra support. With a little bit of coax coming back to the station. It took about 15 minutes to hump up here onto the mountain. And we got everything up and operational, all set up. We're going to go down to the laptop here and see if we can't send and receive some HF radio email with the comms prepper dog deep in the mountains of Massachusetts. Let's get that radio fired up. I've selected a station on the RMS Express software that I want to communicate with. The operating frequency is 3596.4 MHz. That's the 80 meter band. We're going to operate with Chameleon Antenna's n -pass antenna. And this gives me a chance to demonstrate how LDG Electronics Z11 Pro 2 antenna tuner works. I have the radio set to FM modulation, so I have a constant carrier. And the tuner is going to use that carrier to find a tuning solution by engaging and disengaging different relays in the box. So if I get the camera close enough, you should hear the relays searching for a solution. And you'll see the SWR lights on the right-hand side here. And should find a match at 1.5 or below. Okay, we'll hit the push to talk button now and show you the tuner search for a solution. Now it's cycling through the relays, finding a solution to give us a perfect match and some frequencies take longer than others especially when you have a new antenna configuration and it's dialing in the solution and we have one at 1.5 to 1 we're ready to operate so let's roll over to the computer and see if we can make a connection I apologize everybody this video is not going to end as planned the old prepper saying kicked in one is none and two is one and I only brought one source of power to the field today, the QRP Ranger, and I think I blew a fuse inside. I was setting everything up, transmitting out to different stations, was moving the modem around, and lost power to everything. So I have no power. I didn't bring a second source of power, so operations are over today. No power, no operations. The so next time I hit the field, I'll definitely make sure I have two sources of power. It's a learning opportunity. We're going to pack everything up, being the comms prepper dog, head back off the mountain here and see if we can't diagnose the problem here with the QRP Ranger and maybe hit a Home Depot and pick up another battery pack and see if we can conduct some other operations here in the field in the mountains of Massachusetts. All right, I'd like to add a little addendum to this video. I got an email response from Bill at Harden Power Systems within five minutes asking if there was an internal fuse and he told me there was an internal controller shutdown and all I had to do was hook it up to the wall charger or the solar panel 
and it would reset the unit and bring everything back online and sure enough the QRP Ranger is operational again once I came down off the mountain and had a clear spot to set up the solar panel here I hooked it up turned the unit on and it powered right up so we're gonna let it pick up a little bit of charge here and I think what I'll do instead of climbing back up that mountain is set up a little tailgate operation here using the F-loop antenna or the mill whip here on the tailgate of the truck I don't feel like climbing back up that mountain my bad I didn't read the manual on the QRP Ranger but it's thanks to Bill for sending that quick response and salvaging uh, my weekend video activities because now I have a power supply all right we finally got a connection on the HF radio email system from the bed of the pickup truck I'll turn the volume down here we we're able to connect to a station in Canada with five watts from the mountains of Massachusetts we have the FT 817 ND the QRP Ranger of course the modem we've got the laptop in thinktankphoto.com's Pixel Sunscreen 2.0 and we're using Chameleon Antenna's F-Loop Antenna we have the extra piece of coax in there for the 80 meter band although this connection is taking place on the 40 meter band this was not an easy connection to make today guys propagation was horrible I tried using the F-Loop Antenna I even had the M-Pass Whip Antenna out in the Nivis configuration and really struggled to make a connection but it looks like band conditions are improving as the day drags on and we enter early evening but now I'm able to make a solid connection from the bed of the pickup truck with the solar power panel there charging the battery up and the laptop it was a bit of a challenge but we finally got it up and running and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with another field demonstration of low power radio operations and sending and receiving HF radio email thanks for watching guys